Hello there. Welcome to the Chiss Ascendancy Podcast. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chiss Ascendancy Podcast. This is Josiah and we're going to get right into it. Uh, happy Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you and everybody you love. We hope you guys have an amazing Star Wars Day. Today we got a brand new Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer. And so um, people have been messaging me, did you see this? Did you see this? And uh, But I wanted to hold off and watch it with you guys. So if you've been here before, you know how the reactions go. I'm going to watch it one way, all the way through. No comment. I might you know, say something or whatever. But uh, the goal is to not say anything, watch it all the way through, and then give you my thoughts. So I've got it pulled up here. And uh, let's watch it. Let's get into it. They're coming. Stay hidden. Or we will not survive. Leave us alone. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father? You still want Kenobi. He's gone. Maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. I want every lowlife and bounty hunter to squeeze him. Okay, <laughs> there's a lot there. Uh, so we'll watch it again, and we'll just kind of break it down uh, and see what we see. I really like that shuttle. I don't really know what the deal is with it, but I really like it. Um, I think that's a lot of things that we forget about Star Wars is like, we're so used to getting every detail about everything, but it's really cool just to get a cool ship going to a cool planet every once in a while. They're coming. I think honestly, I was talking uh I was talking to somebody about this and even though he's gotten a lot of hate, I'm really getting used to the Grand Inquisitor. I think he really looks good. And uh I think also it's obviously we know there's already a canon representation Revenge of the Sith of the Powan people, but um I think he looks good, and I think that the acting level, as long as the acting level matches what we got in Rebels, that's all that really matters. As long as the visual's close and the acting's on, on point, then we're good. Stay hidden. Or we will not survive. Leave us alone. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. Oh my god. That's so heartbreaking, dude. And um I assume like maybe he thinks and I'm I I'm assuming that he thinks Anakin's dead at this point still. So that's sucky. Like it's it's even worse. Like I feel like maybe he doesn't know about Vader. I don't know, we're ten years in. I feel like he would know. But it'll be even more gut-wrenching if he just now finds out about Vader, which is the fate worse than what he thought happened to him on Mustafar. You still want Kenobi. I think that's Seventh Brother. I think that's Han from... I don't know the actor's name. Han from uh, Fast and Furious. I think that's him saying to... Is it Reva, the new Inquisitor? You still want Kenobi. He's gone. He's gone. I think it's interesting that they're basically 
doing probes like they did in Empire Strikes Back. Like, <laughs> the budget got cut so much, we're just sending probes in Empire Strikes Back. We used to send, like, whole Inquisitors looking for people. Maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. I want every low life and... It's really cool that they're using his picture from Revenge of the Sith to be like his identifier. And Forlom, bro, look at this guy. I wish that... And my thing is, if Forlom's there, or for lom whatever you want to call him, if that's him, like... Zuckus has to be nearby, right? Like, they're a duo. That would be sick. I might get Bosk yet. Holding out hope for more Bosk. Bounty Hunter. To squeeze him. I wonder if he's going to say, like, a snarky line to that Zabrak, like, I've toiled with, like, I've met, I've dealt with your kind before. I wonder if he's going to say something snarky or if he's just obviously, like, running. You can't wait, Obi-Wan! You know, I really wonder if when she's saying that, like, she's obviously very impassioned about Obi-Wan, you know, keeping Obi-Wan you know, holding on to him, being the one that brings him in. And I wonder if we're going to get any backstory on who she is in the order. And um, I don't know. She seems, obviously, this trailer kind of leans towards the fact that she, maybe she has a personal vendetta against him or something. And if you look at this frame right here, it looks obviously like that droid that we saw from the first Obi-Wan trailer is on his side or on the side against the Empire. And if you look over in the far right side of this screen, it looks like the Inquisitor's in there and... It would be cool if... I can't tell if to the right there is a shock trooper or if it's just shadows. You can't escape him! You know, it's, uh, what's really interesting is you've got... It looks like the purge troopers there, maybe a new design. Or also, if, you, if you've read the uh, recent Crimson Rain... Um, comic book there are troopers that are just for um vader's castle and obviously i think we're on the castle inquisitorius there but it could be that they have a specific style that might not even be purge trooper that could be an even more elite more niche trooper and this looks like the moment that he realizes anakin's still around you know obviously that's what we're meant to believe this is probably a completely different um moment but um this definitely looks like that moment in New Hope where he's like, a presence I haven't felt since. I sense something. A presence I've not felt since. So, that could be interesting. That could be, this could be the aha moment for Obi-Wan. Dope. You know, I think maybe even that's the moment where he knows Vader's around. But what if they're fighting and, you know, he smacked Vader's helmet off or something, you know, similar to what we see in Ahsoka with Rebels. And that's the moment where he sees Hayden underneath the mask. And the revelation isn't, oh, that's Anakin. Like, maybe he knows it's Anakin. But it's just that gut-wrenching, like, knife-in-the-stomach moment of, like, the boy, the man I knew, the, the brother I loved is still in there. Anyways, man. So it's May 4th, so we have 23 more days. <sighs> We're so close, guys. We're almost there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this breakdown. May the Force be with you all. Happy Star Wars Day, and we'll catch you next time.